Hi, I'm Randy Weddick from Band Pro Film and Digital. I'm here to talk to you today about the Ingenue Type EZ1 lens. So why do I have these two cameras in front of me? Well, this is a Super 35 FS5 from Sony, and this is a 6K Dragon from RED. RED also makes an 8K camera that goes up to VistaVision size, which is a format larger than full frame still photography. And yet both of these lenses are the same lens, except for there's a switched out rear optical block so that one of them will, is optimized to cover Super 35 at a T2, and this lens is optimized to cover full frame and vista vision at a T3. Now what happens when you do that is you magnify the image and you lose a little light. So on the full frame lens, it will be instead of a 30 to 90, the full frame modified version will be a 45 to 135 at a T3. Okay, so we have here a Super 35 EZ1 lens and the parts to turn it into a full frame lens. Those parts are a new engraved ring that will show the new focal length and T-stop and denote that it's full frame with FF. A accurate T-stop ring that's indexed. A full frame optical block and 1.5 millimeter Allen wrench and a small Phillips head screwdriver. Step one in changing the format of the lens is to remove the rear lens mount, which is very easy. Step two, you're gonna uh, remove the engraved ring with the Phillips head screwdriver. Underneath the engraved ring is the optical block, and that is removed with uh, six 1.5 mil hex screws. Make sure you, you remove all six 1.5 millimeter screws from the optical block. Then you can use the threaded rear cap to remove the block itself. The next step to do is to close down the iris ring to 22 and then you take your Phillips head screwdriver and remove six retaining screws that are holding the iris ring on. Now we remove the iris ring. Okay, so next you're going to take the rubber ring here and loosen that up, move that down. So we Pulling down the gray rubber ring, and now we're gonna remove the screws underneath where the rubber ring was. Okay, so here's an interesting feature. Uh, we've replaced the iris ring, but we do not need to replace the focal length scale. All you need to do is unscrew those retaining screws and slide this down, and it gets you access to uh, a whole other set of full frame focal length numbers. Okay, so now we just uh, screw the ring back together using the top threaded holes instead of the bottom ones. Now basically we just have to reverse the process. Pull up the ring to cover up the focal marking interchange screws. So now we take this T3 iris index ring and we line it up with the three white iris index markers. And remember, we set this up at a 22. So when we come back, we'll be at a 32. Once the iris index ring is properly placed on the camera, now we go back and screw in the same six screws. So here we have the full frame optical block. And you'll notice that it's serialized. It's very important that the serial between the lens and the uh, rear optical block match because each one is designed to optimize the performance of the other component. So you line up this reference pin with the inner reference pin on the uh, optical block and then you uh, attach the six screws. Second to last step is to replace the engraved ring 
This is the original engraved ring. It says 30 to 90 T2 Super 35. I'm going to replace it with this ring here. 45 to 135 T3 full frame. You'll see there are four sides to this. Two sides have focal markings. One side is blank. The other says optical design by Ingenue France. This side faces the bottom of the lens here. So we're gonna line those up with the lens support thread. Now I'll go over and then you can see through where the three screws go. All right. Now uh, all that remains to be done is to reattach the lens mount. And there's a indexing pin here that matches up with the mount. Then you just thread back on and you're back in business. And now you have a 45 to 135 T3 full frame zoom where you started with a 30 to 90 T2 Super 35 zoom.